Saturday, 9th of May, 2020. I'm out here at, and I've forgotten the name of it again. But uh, I'm walking the opposite way round from the walk that I did last month when the weather was decidedly greyer and somewhat colder. It's a warm day today and it means that I've been uh, walking in a t-shirt as you can see from my apparel and uh, I'll just show you that in this beautiful green field I saw a hare run across and then after that, the hare from the left came a deer and it bounced up over the fence and across the path and ran away and I had a good view of both animals so I'm keeping my eyes peeled for for more and uh, it's very warm and uh, incredible cloudscapes behind me apparently um, thunderstorms are predicted and uh, that would be quite good fun if they are I'll just uh, show you all the way around and yeah the sun has come out if you're not moving it can feel well it was colder earlier perhaps with a slight wind but now that I've been moving around for an hour it feels really very warm and you can probably tell it in my face I have my walking poles with me which make uh, traveling somewhat easier because you're using your upper body strength as well as your feet so uh, it just takes the strain off your, your legs and you can um, use your arms to launch yourself up hills um, what else we've just got some sheep in the fields but nothing of interest I shall keep the camera handy I don't know if you can see this but there are some naughty sheep which are in the field of wheat I think it is where are they they've dipped out of sight maybe they're somewhere around that they got into the wrong field but yeah it's absolutely uh, stunning out here my flatmate Stephanie sent me up my sunglasses which not only are they prescription sunglasses so a welcome relief from being in the sunshine but also they're not scratched like my everyday glasses so it's crystal clear and really very nice to look through. Anyway, I'll video some sheep for you now. This one's quite menacing, isn't it? Less like a sheep than a guard dog. Anyway, it's evidently very hot. It is pretty humid. This one seems to be a unicorn. Look at the middle of its head. I can't really see what it is, but it's bizarre. Is it just foliage or a, something that's stuck on its head? Hmm. Absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Really wonderful. You can just hear sheep and cows and the birds. But yeah, look at the colours. Really, really wonderful. Those blues, greens, greys, everything. It's just right, just right. And I've even rolled up my sleeves to, to make the most of it. And uh, yeah, feeling good. Part of my regime to a uh, get back on track in terms of uh, not eating and drinking too much. All the all the cakes, all the pate, all the cheese, everything. Do you need to know this? No. Anyway, so 
I'm out walking and having a stiff bit of exercise and admiring and getting inspiration for painting too. And uh, it's wonderful how the uh, sun moves around and catches the different hills and uh, lights. Pretty uh, overall uh, average light compared to then in the evenings when uh, there's this um, stunning red light that lights up the hills and the gorse. Actually that's something. Not only can I hear things, the smell of the gorse in this warmth is really very pungent and um, smells of coconut oil of course and the gorse smells of coconut oil of course. There we go, just yeah there's Stira, my, not my nemesis, I've conquered it at least four times so uh, but yeah still a, still a tough one. All right that's over and out from me. Bye-bye. Here you go, this is old Tom. He's 10 years old and he's the size of a corgi. Ooh. And he's near enough for me to uh, video him for once. I mean, he's not got a bad view, has he? That's the field. But he's got his back to it because he's munching on some hay and uh, enjoying that. I'm not sure if he's enjoying the ridiculous haircut he has, but uh, I don't suppose he's got a mirror to uh, think about it with. Tom! Hmm. Can I ride on it? So I'm on the last uh, hurdle of uh, the walk, which started with me walking along that field there, the yellow one with all the oilseed rape, all the way along beyond that line of trees to the next line of trees, which is where Yetham Mains is, up and around, round the uh, base of this hill, all the way around, and then I've just come back here. I think it's approximately a three mile round trip off the top of my head and there is the Beaumont Valley looking abundantly spring-like and uh, very beautiful. <laughs>